Welcome back to Let's 100% Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Uh, this is Vertical Sandwich. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, I just want to say before we get started here, um, we're about to... Uh, uh, you're going to see me popping this map open a lot, by the way, because you just have to check um, every every time you do the, the paramedic missions. You're just going to have to, every trip, you're going to want to look at the map, plan out your route. Uh, Anyway, um, first I want to say that uh, in between takes here I'm eating Freezy Pops, and uh, I just got Freezy Pop juice all over myself. Uh, it's like 100 degrees here right now, um, which, you know, it's the middle of July, so it's probably 100 degrees most places, but uh, yeah, so Freezy Pops all over me. Um, anyway, <laughs> uh, so welcome back to Paramedic Missions, and um, I think, uh, first off, um, for this video, I want to talk about flipping the ambulance. Like I said, the ambulance is really top heavy. You're going to have to corner a lot, um, no matter where you do the missions. And uh, you may flip the ambulance, um, or you may start to flip the ambulance. Uh, I have, believe it or not, and you don't have to believe me, um, I have flipped the ambulance onto its side, rerouted it, rewrited it, and completed the missions um, all the way up to level 12. In the, I think four times. Four times I've done this all the way to level 12. This was the fourth time. Uh, it should also be um, uh, noted that this was my, actually, this video is of my second try uh, in this particular game. I tried up to level uh, four, and on four I flipped the ambulance and I uh, couldn't ride it. Um, so, uh, one of the big things, and this will be covered in the facts that I'm going to post in the video description, um, if the ambulance starts to flip, or if it flips, uh, you need to turn um, into the flip, like into the direction it's flipping. It's, uh, I actually am going to turn this one on its side, uh, I think at the end of, of, of either this level or the next, pulling into the hospital, I actually turn it over on its side, and I'm lucky enough that there's a raised curb that keeps me from flipping all the way over, otherwise I think I would have went. Um, you can theoretically on these missions lose a patient from driving too crazy. Uh, I've had it happen once, and it was because um, everything just kind of went crazy. Uh, but it, I mean, any kind of insane driving um, in this game will keep that from ever being a problem. If you're a decent driver in Vice City, you should never lose a patient that way. Um, it take they take a lot of they take a lot of damage. Actually, when you do things like hit other cars and hit things, you'll hear the patients reacting to it. Uh, so the game does pay attention to that. It's um, and I, I think we've covered already, um, but I'm going to cover it. Again. I'm going to say it again, and I may say it several times during the series of videos. Handbrake, handbrake, handbrake. It's R1. It's the only way you want to stop. Um, there's a debate. Um, a decent and, and valid debate about whether or not to use the siren. You can turn the siren on um, by pushing L3, and the cars will try to get out of your way. They, they will, um, but one, that's not going to stop the crazy drivers, the, the ones who run red lights, and those are your real problem drivers. The other ones will react sanely. Um, those are the guys who are going to try to pass you no matter what, and they're going to pull in front of you and they're going to hit you. Um, and, uh, you know, they're the, they're the problem. Uh, also, people getting out of your way may actually, because all the patients that you'll be picking up on the street are going to be on the sidewalks, people pulling over may be a detriment to your paramedic missions. Uh, with the paramedic missions, it's for me it's really a matter of preference. Um, I don't use the siren uh, most of my experience driving in Vice City. Um, this is one of the impossible places to pick people up. Uh, you have to have your, if you're going to pick somebody up here, you have to edge down with your right side or your left side against the curb, and you have to have your front doors open so they can walk along the front of the ambulance because you can't back to them. Maybe if you came around through this open area, you could get to them easier, uh, and that might be a strategy some people want to look at. I pull down the hard way forward and try not to run over cops as I'm talking about. So, um, I don't use the siren. Most of my experience driving in, in, in this game are in non-emergency vehicles where people aren't getting out of my way. Uh, it's pretty easy in a lot of areas to take the sidewalk or jump into an oncoming lane. Um, and to tell you the truth, the ambulance can take a lot of fender benders. Um, you, can, you can go through a lot of stuff and um, 
not have to worry about the ambulance exploding. So, let's see. What else? Um, oh, your strategy for the, the south boardwalks that are above water is going to be the same. Is to just um, pick those people up when your front doors are open. Um, because you're going to have to edge up until they start moving and give them enough room to get around the front of the ambulance and then back out blind. Um, which in all cases can be accomplished by backing just straight out because the guardrails on the boardwalk will keep them from falling into the water or flipping into the water. Um, you gotta get kinda lucky in this game um, because those people can spell the end of your missions. Um, if they run the wrong way, if they won't get into the ambulance, if they're somewhere, um, if they're by a cop, they'll get you a wanted star because you can't avoid a cop on a boardwalk. It can be really rough and you're gonna fail these missions. If you're fortunate enough to get to level 12 in the paramedic missions on your first try, um, kudos to you. It's never happened. It didn't happen this time. It didn't happen to me the other two times I 100% of this game. It really is. Um, oh, and I also want to tell you uh, that the chatter on um, the chatter on over the radio is that one second. I would avoid this entrance to the beach. Just look what it's it just the instant you get onto it, it starts rocking the ambulance. Um, but uh, the chatter on the over the radio is, uh, is is horrible and it's looped and it's the only thing you can listen to. So uh, get used to tuning that out, is because you're going to be listening to it for an hour. Um, an hour for the paramedic missions is about the best case scenario you can help for. Uh, like I said. I did it in an hour and 12 minutes, which was 60 seconds of patient, and I thought that was fantastic. So, um, like I said, people will always enter, um, people will always enter the entrance to the ambulance that's closest to them. Uh, so, um, be aware of that if your front doors, if your front seat is filled, no matter where you pull, they're gonna have to run around to the back. Um, you gotta kind of be, um, you gotta kind of be careful when you're picking up people on the street because if you people the, the hit detection on the people is pretty broad, so they'll start moving towards your ambulance regardless of if you're slowing down. Um, so you've even got to watch in the later missions when you're driving by if you're driving by patients with a full ambulance because they'll move towards you like they can get in and they'll even try to get in but they can't. The ambulance is full. Uh, and so you can easily pull somebody across the line of traffic. And if you do that, then you have a danger of some crazy AI driver behind you trying to swerve around you. Um, so, you know, and that's not anything that... Here we go, look at this. Flipped over, back on its side. Turn, oh, turn into the flip. Every time. <laughs> as, uh... As crazy impressive as that looks now, um... That really was... That's not, that's, that's not the luckiest that I get in this... In this walkthrough. Um... Also, you're probably at one point gonna, one point or another, gonna have to pick up a wanted star and make a swipe the top. You get a wanted star, if you, uh, and sometimes it makes sense if you've got some time uh, to slow it down and avoid slowing, like avoid picking anybody up until you think that wanted star is gonna flash away, or until it does flash away, because the wanted star won't last as long as. Um... So these are the areas we're talking about. This boardwalk runs all the way to the lighthouse and it's fine right in here right in here you can get down here you can get next to people and, and it's okay now i just hit that person um people I'm the only one you've been waiting for. that very easily could have knocked knocked me out of these missions um, but uh yeah that boardwalk gets gets really hairy when you get a little further um towards the lighthouse because it starts going over open water and there's nothing you can do. You've got to drive down the boardwalk to get your patients. Um, again, uh, my only strategy for that is to make sure you have your front seat open and edge your way down there, um, try not to hit any cops. So, um, yeah, these these missions are rough. These missions are, are damn rough, and they're frustrating. Incredibly frustrating. Uh, you really have to, and a lot of people skip them. 
I mean, a lot of people, you don't have to do this to complete the game. You can, um, and the bonus isn't that great. I mean, it's not, you know, the, uh, the Vigilante mission gives you an extra 50, you know, armor. The Pizza Delivery missions give you an extra 50 life. And, like, those are useful in missions. This, this mission, the reward is that you get to sprint forever without getting tired. Um, I really like that, actually, because you can, you can run at a pretty good pace in this game. Uh, it makes it a lot easier to catch cars you want to steal. It makes it easier if you get, you know, if you blow up a vehicle and you've got a wanted level. It's nice to be able to just run. Um, but, again, it's, it's not by any stretch of the imagination. That's insane. Alright, well, this video is about to an end, so um, I'll see you for the next one, and you take care. Thanks for watching.